This is a tutorial of the style tool in Creo Parametric 2.0 and I'll be doing this tutorial of the Toyota 86 the front part of the car so this this is what I've done already I'm gonna I'll go through the steps on how to make this and here's a few rendering images So with Creo, you are able to create complex surfaces. It is a bit challenging, but it is possible. So there you go. We'll go through this. So I hope you like it. Okay. So the first step we're gonna do is set up the reference images. We have these blueprint here. Uh, we really need to find accurate blueprint images to create our our car it's a large object so we need to make sure it's accurate and correct and to find the blueprints you just go to google and type your car and type the word blueprint and uh, there should be a number of blueprints available um, i found this one to be useful so it's from the website smcars.net so this image is large and basically you want the the side, the front and the back and also the top view if possible. Okay, so to start we'll make a new file. We open the program and click new and click part. We can make a 3D object so it's a part file. Okay, now we're going to insert the blueprints. You go to view, image model, click images, add image and click the plane. We'll add the side view. We'll add the side view to the, to the right plane and you can rotate it right 90 degrees and move it into place and also there is the fit tool this will let you measure the the length and dimension of your car so i have my dimension here so the width is 4240 okay. so we'll put it into place So make sure you place carefully align the picture in the right place. So the bottom of the plane lines up with the picture. And okay. So we're gonna insert other views as well. So you just do it, repeat the steps. So the front view goes onto the front plane. Okay, what's the dimension? That is 1,775. So click the fit tool and move these leaders into place and adjust the size. So when you do this, take time to do it carefully. Uh, we want to make it correct so we don't have to make a mistake. So that dimension was 1775. So you click fit to undo the tool and you can move the picture so we'll put it here okay so there you go we got the front and the side and we're going to put the bottom face on as well so i'll quickly do that and i'll finish this video here 
And one more thing before I finish the video, we are gonna draw a a box around the car just to have it as a container to help us um, see the plane and where it is. So I'm gonna draw a box on each plane based on the overall dimension of the car. So I'll draw the box here and make it to the right dimension. So the front that was 4240. So this is helpful for later on. So um, I've been doing this tutorial. One, eight, two, one, two, eight, seven. So I just put the box there and another box here for the front view and also one for the top view as well. So 1775 and the height is 1285. Okay, so this is what you should have before we can start drawing curves and making surfaces. So you need the the views in there, the blueprint views, and also the outline to help to make the plane on the outline of the the car. So if you have any question? Just leave a comment in the video, and I can help you or send me a private message. So that's it for this step. See you in the next video.